Welcome to Netherlands. And I want to check out here in the countryside these wooden houses here. I mean, back during the day, this area will be swarmed by soldiers during World War I and World War II. And yeah, I just want to check out these houses here, this farmland here in the Dutch countryside. It smells funny because there's a horse stable there, but I've wandered off the beaten path again here in the Dutch countryside. And this is one of my favorite countries as well, Netherlands. And I've always been wanting to, to come here and explore the Dutch countryside away from the touristy place. Just to give you an idea. And we have an ostrich there in the cage. And I apologize if it's really windy because it is. Look at the trees here. Hey, buddy. An ostrich. Are you not cold? Because I am freezing right now. All right, let's continue our exploration here on the Dutch countryside. We're about two minutes in. Let's make this video short and sweet and simple. There's another ostrich there. Is it even called an ostrich? I don't know, but let's go in front, further up, and let's check out that houses over there. These are the things that intrigue me into going to Europe because I want to see brick houses. I want to see houses that are really made of clay, made of bricks, not just the usual ceramic or cement, whatever you call it that I have in my country. And let's check out this place here. This is where the horses would um, train or breed, I don't know. And I'm really sorry if it's really windy here. But check this out. It looks like no one's home in this stable here. I guess the owner would be here not during winter because it is cold. Let's check out horses food here I guess. Is it? Oh there is someone home there. So I'll try not to invade. But let's film a little bit. Of this place. It is someone's backyard. Quite amazing. All right, let's go and explore the other side. Amazing building. Amazing design. Like the attention to details here in the houses in Europe. I I think they really took that properly. It's different from the farmland in Germany. The houses are a little bit more bright and red. Whereby the houses in the farmland of Germany are quite more of a darker brown kind of thing. Someone's calling me there. But let's go and explore the other side of the country there. This is the countryside.
and check out this amazing amazing place we have the forest there and other houses But yeah. The street sign says Dear Job Nerge Cook. I don't know. And I apologize, my Dutch isn't that great. And I learned something today that Dutch and Norwegian speak the same language. Six minutes in. I guess these are the places that are still being built. But yeah, I think I've ventured off. And there's a McDonald's there that I want to go because I'm hungry. I've not had anything today. So yeah. I guess I'll just make this video short and sweet and simple for you guys because it is windy as well and it'll definitely screw up the audio but yeah from the Dutch countryside here somewhere I don't know signing off that's Vidania see ya I guess I forgot to end with this monologue but what I like going to places like this and looking at houses looking at the farmland and I know most people do not find this interesting or intriguing but to me it is definitely I find this more rewarding than going to Amsterdam and take the canal cruise or going to Berlin and take photograph of the Berlin Wall I find this to be more intriguing and more fascinating to see the actual village here as you might want to call it to see the locals here in their greatest domain guys is haunting me for vlogging here but yeah all right on that note I'm going to the McDonald because it is freakingly cold chilly here I've ditched my other jacket because after a few days of wearing it it kind of stings <laughs> and I had to find a laundry to get it washed but look at these autumn trees amazing and I think during winter there'll there'll be no leaves left in this tree as you can see some of the some of them doesn't have any more leaves on it but this is amazing I'm gonna take it all in And I'm in a town here, I don't know, I do not know what town this is. And to be honest with you, I don't really care what town it is, I just want to go and explore and see Europe's countryside. I don't think this is the true countryside, but this is definitely not the touristy area. But yeah. I'm gonna go to the McDonald. Gonna have some some chips. Gonna have some hot coffee, and then the adventure continues here in Netherlands. See ya. That's Vidania.